First at six, new video from opening weekend at Worlds of Fun. A family says they were trapped in their car as more than 100 teens rushed out of the park after a fight broke out. Now the park is working with local police to decide how to keep Worlds of Fun safe for families. Good evening, everyone. I'm Kelly Eckerman in for Laura. And I'm Chris Ketz. There were multiple fights at the park. Investigative reporter Matt Fleener looks at what happened and what's next. Matt. Chris Kelly, law enforcement reviewing security plans after the large fight over the weekend. The Clay County Sheriff's Office says a group of up to 150 unsupervised teenagers was involved in the first disturbance. We're talking at least 100 kids fighting. A mother sharing with the world what happened in Worlds of Fun Saturday night. This is when we're in the parking lot. We had, couldn't even leave yet. Surrounded by cops and fights. The fights wouldn't stop. Natalie Anderson went live on social media, feeling trapped in her car with her kids trying to leave the park. It was not Worlds of Fun. It was Worlds of Chaos. Worlds of Fear. Are you serious? Yep. They're fighting again. Clay County Sheriff's Office saying upwards of 150 unsupervised juveniles had multiple fights in the park starting around 730. People weren't able to have fun on opening day at Worlds of Fun, which is historically a really great time. This is sad. The Sheriff's Office says fights inside the park spilled out to the parking lot. Now they're planning more law enforcement presence in the coming weeks. We're going to all be meeting to discuss the next steps with that. You need to make sure that their your children are supervised. Anderson says Worlds of Fun needs a policy of under 18 being supervised, saying she never wants this experience again. I have no desire to ever go back to Worlds of Fun unless something else changes. All right, so the sheriff's office also said a teenage girl punched a deputy. She was arrested and released to her parents, according to the sheriff's office. Worlds of Fun sent a statement that said, in part, we have zero tolerance for this kind of behavior and believe those responsible should be held accountable. Chris.